Hi, Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time it is by request, I want to do this lesson, Cross Cut Saw. Now a couple years back I did the rhythm guitar part. Check that one out as well. I'm going to mostly talk about the lead here and these kind of soaring leads and the whole like, concept of this song is playing really uh, slow and making every note count. So it's an A flat. Alright, so uh, let's hit the bass line. There's a couple ways to finger that. This one you just have to move your wrist a lot. You just sort of have to jump with your first finger. Now some of you might like this way. No turn around. Okay. So the opener is like this. Notice how he's rolling up this time. Usually when we when I talk about rolling, we're going down. Those were two rolls going down. In other words, I didn't pick up my finger, I just rolled it over. But this time you're rolling up. The best thing to do is get them both underneath your fingertip. Kind of like this. I'm not going doo -doo. I'm going and then tugging that and then on the ninth fret you do a bend so a tip for when you're doing this bend if it's hard you don't have to leave this planted down here you can sort of relax it and move it up behind you and he really stings you on the four chord notice how when you bend up to the five over the four chord it sounds like you're just sorry so if you can hold that sound in your head. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. That's uh, bending on the ninth fret up a whole step. And then you got to do something real important. You got to unbend, get out of the way. You're not doing this. That didn't have as much impact as this. Now, kill your sound, get out of the way, get your third finger out of the way, unbend. And then you have not, um, then you have the uh, seventh fret and ninth fret of the seventh fret E string, ninth fret B string. And then I'm just gonna, you can do it two ways. That's probably what he did. You can do the first finger bend. If you can't do it, you can always stick your elbow out just a little bit. It might give you a little more leverage. It's easier. Or you can go back here and then he wraps it up yeah so you know you can use this note on the G string on the sixth fret but I think it sounds a little better on the second fret of the B string that just feels good And notice how this note is dead in the middle of your four co five chord. And then let's go back to the second fret of the B string. And then you, you really feel the resolution. Do 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 do. He's playing the four over the four chord. I'm your cross cut saw and then he backs way off it kind of says listen to my singing now I'm telling you something 
So before the solo, he's got a little turnaround. Yeah. Yeah, this time he's not using this note. But you could, but he goes like this. It's kind of like a real functional transitional phrase to get you to the high point. It's kind of a opening statement, like he's just graded. What is the phrase, right? Get in, get some, and get out. So this is really getting in. Notice I'm doing a... That doesn't sound very expressive. I'm doing a little tug here. Oh! Woo! Or... That's just like the intro. Where you get out and you sort of jump. You can't go. You gotta go. Now we're going on the four. And on the four, he does that real soaring thing that, that he does at the end, too. This is the real trademark. Try to make it. At least count to four beats. It's more like four and a half beats. Or ending on that. Or and then it's something amazing. That was one bend on one fret. And then he goes. That says, I'm not done yet. You thought I was going to do this. But he goes, no, I got more. I like this. And now he goes. Back to those long bends. Yeah. And then he sort of wraps it up. Seeing some of those licks might inspire you to like slow down, really milk those bends, try holding them for like four beats, or even at the end, he does a beat. Do down, and we feel the sledgehammer when it comes down. Um, have fun with this uh, song. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join me on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.